in our example 2, which is our last example, we will have a look at our debtors journal and our debtors ledger. C. Platt is a trader. The following information appeared in the books for July 2018. We have balances of K. Charuka of 1220 and of N. Muinga of 2970. Now before we have a look at the transactions for July, let's see what's required. We need to enter the transactions in the debtors journal of CPLAT for July 2018 and we need to do the postings to the following accounts in the appropriate ledgers. It's for the sales account, K. Charuka for L. Ausep and for N. Muinga. Now let's have a look at the transactions. On 7 July, issued an invoice 15 with an amount of 3450 for K Jaruka for 23 crates of cool drink sold. On 15 July, sent goods on credit to Yal Ausap $2400. On 22 July, credit sales of goods worth 4590 to N Muinga and then on the 25th delivered the following goods on credit to Yal Osep less 10% trade discount. Those goods are 35 boxes of biscuits at $80 each and 75 packets of sweets $30 each. Now let's do A which is enter our transactions in the debtors journal. This is the format of the debtors journal, which is similar to our creditors journal and here we only record our credit sales. Our first transaction is for K Jaruka of 3450. This took place on the 7th of July and our document number is 15. Our second transaction is for L Osep which is on the 15th of July and that is for $2,400. Our third transaction is for N Muinga. This took place on 22 July. The amount is 4590 And before we enter our last transaction, let's do the calculation. The items that were sold was biscuits and sweets. It was 35 boxes of biscuits going at $80 each that will come to $2,800 and 10% of that is $280. The sweets was 72 packets. The selling price was 30 which will come to $2,250. 10% of that is $225. The total sold was $5,050 less our discount which is $505 which will bring the selling price to $4,545 and this is the amount we will enter in our debtors journal. There we go. Now we can add up all of the amounts to get our total and our total is $14,985. Now let's move on to our ledger accounts. In our general ledger, we will post the total of our debtors journal to the credit side of our sales account. The date will be the last day of the month and the amount we got from the total of our debtors journal. If we have a look at our debtors ledger of CPLAT, we will start with K Jeruka and we will start with our opening balance which is 1220. On the 7th, K. Jeruka had sales of 3450 bringing the total balance to 4670 And again, we need to enter the specific date when the transaction took place. And then at the end of the month, this is the amount that K. Jeruka owes to C. Platt. Now, Let's post our other debtors in our debtors ledger. We have N Muinga, which also had an opening balance. That balance was 2970. 
and then in Moinga also had sales on the 22nd of July that was 4590 bringing the total balance to 7560 and then finally El Clausep did not have an opening balance but it had sales on the 15th of July worth 2400 and on the 25th of July worth 4545 which will come to a closing balance of 6945